Listen to what you're hearing on the floor today because it's a definite contrast. It's a definite contrast between the party that wants to help boost our economy, help boost our job creators, and the party that likes to use well-polled terminology to try to play out class warfare. Class warfare on the House floor, isn't that great? You talk about class warfare, Representative Gottwald? Well, you're the ones that took away the homestead credit and raised property taxes on lower income and middle class Minnesotans. You're the ones that wanted to raid the renter's credit that would have increased property taxes on uh, 300,000 Minnesotans who make less than $55,000 a year, including up to 70,000 seniors and people with disabilities. That's what I call class warfare. You're the ones that want to cut health care. You're the ones that cut educa higher education to the highest levels in the history of, of this state. You're the ones that want to cut our transportation options that allow people to get to work. That's what I call class warfare, Representative Gottwald. And you're the ones that attack Minnesotans, wor working, the rights of working people to better themselves over and over and over again. That has been your mantra in this body since day one. That is class warfare, Representative Gottwald. And I know you're smiling because you think the only class that you care about are big corporations. That's what you said on the House floor, and more power to you. At the, bottom of the, at the end of the day, Representative Davids has called this a smoking hot tax bill. Well, it's smoking hot only because it's going to be burning a hole in our state budget. It's smoking hot only because it's going to be burning the middle class and farmers and small businesses all across this state. That's your smoking hot tax bill, Representative Davids. We should vote no on these misplaced priorities. Then we can see if we can find a way to actually work together to come up with something that's going to work for the state of Minnesota. Well, here it is. How many times have we heard from my good friend, the minority leader, you know, you shouldn't be talking about XYZ bill because you need to be talking about jobs. Well, this is the bill for jobs. There being 73 yeas, 57 nays, the bill is adopted and its title agreed to.